County to the South Bay. Maybe you heard it. Even residents as far west as downtown and Point Loma heard that big boom. They also reported feeling kind of a rumbling noise. As of now, the source of the booming sound and the movement is not known. But some people uh, might have thought it was an earthquake. Others perhaps a sonic boom. We're continuing to monitor both of those stories. We'll now to a developing story. The boom felt by people across the county about 11 o'clock this morning remains a mystery tonight. The USGS says there were no earthquakes in the area at the time. 10 News Amanda Brandeis talked to one man who definitely felt it. For someone who makes a living sitting under 4,000 pounds of metal, Sherman Simbulon stays aware of his surroundings. The car could easily fall down. If I'm underneath it, I'm a pancake. He was working on this car when he felt the boom. That was pretty strange. You know, first I heard a kind of a, what sounded like a low distant boom. Then I felt a rumble and it was very, I would say gradual as it came to me. He immediately stopped what he was doing. I instantly thought earthquake, but you know, Pros for a second looked around. No, nothing else is shaking. Nothing swaying. My my cup didn't fall over. Many instantly went to social media, posting what they felt and asking others if they felt it too. People in Chula Vista, La Mesa, National City, Valencia Park, and Encanto all reported feeling the shake. We reached out to Camp Pendleton, MCS Miramar, and the Navy, but they say no exercises they've done today would have been felt in those regions. A little concerning. You know, I'd like to know what's going on, especially if someone's doing any blasting nearby. Simbulon says he felt something similar last year and hopes this time around they'll figure out what it is. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. In the last hour, we've heard from even more people who say they felt it, including some in Lemon Grove, Coronado, El Cajon, and Lakeside. And people with the 10 News mobile app received an alert right after the boom happened. You can download a free version of the app in the App Store. From our Cape Coral News team, a big boom caused concern and confusion last night. The loud noise actually rattled homes in parts of the Cape. We know a lot of people went on Facebook with questions about what happened. NBC2's Ben Henry has been looking into this today. Spoke with people who not only heard this, but felt it. Oh, to the core, as they describe, also describing this as very intense. So much that it shook several homes. I spent the day trying to find out the cause. Besides a gust of wind or a barking dog, Northwest 31st Street in Cape Coral stays relatively quiet. That's why the commotion Sunday night is causing a stir. And all of a sudden there was this huge boom. Joanne Navarre was one of the handful of people reaching out to NBC2's Facebook page after it happened. It shook the house, it rattled the windows, the stuff on the table bounced. But what it was remains the question. Well, we thought maybe something hit the house, um, something hit nearby. We didn't know if something exploded. We thought people were hurt. A few houses down, the same story. And just this intense boom, it shook our house. My husband ran inside to check on us. Uh, my son's slippy cup actually was knocked from the kitchen table. Stephanie Burkow was getting her kids ready for dinner. She not only heard the boom, but felt it. You could feel it in your body. It wasn't just external things. You felt it to the core. We reached out to the city of Cape Coral, which said it didn't know what it was. Even the police department wasn't sure. Burka says if it was something that was planned, next time she'd like a heads up. Make the public aware so they're not thinking that, God forbid, there was a terror attack. You know, somebody's trying to bomb us because that's what it sounded like was a bomb. The Cape Coral Police Department, though doesn't know exactly what it was, says it was likely a sonic boom. We reached out to a couple of Air Force bases in the state but have not heard back. In the studio, Ben Henry, NBC. We are following breaking news downriver where residents in several cities reported hearing what sounded like an explosion. It was heard from Lincoln Park all the way to Grosseal. 7 Action News reporter Gino Vici live in Lincoln Park with more on the cause of the startling sound that caused speculation on social media. Gino. 
Lots of it, Brienne. The odd thing is that, you know, so far we've learned what it was not, but we have not discovered what it actually was just yet. The city of Wyandotte Police Department just releasing that the boom heard around the world, they said, uh, was not originated in the city of Wyandotte. And uh, let me show you a map of where people have reported hearing this sound. Now, most of the reports of the noise have been reported close to where we are right now, Southfield and Jefferson. But there are reports of hearing an explosion like sound all the way to Gross Eel. But as you can see on the map and on social media, as well as with people we spoke with in person, the boom may have come from the area you see in the green circle which is, again, right near Southfield Road in Jefferson in Ecorse. For Robert Duke, we spoke to him earlier. He thought the building next door had exploded. It was very loud. I was uh, just got out of the shower, and I was sitting on my bed, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden I heard a boom, boom. It shook the whole building. And then my roommate, he came on. He goes, what, what the heck was that? I go, I don't know. So we looked outside. Maybe it could have been a car accident or something, but nothing. Again, Wyandotte PD saying the sound of the boom did not come from its city. However, in Ecorse, the police department there saying they heard and felt that explosion inside of their police department. But again, they do not know the cause of the loud sounding boom and neither does a lot of other people, but they like to find out. And we're certainly going to be finding out more about the source of this boom that has been heard across the entire Downriver community. We're live in Ecorse, Gino Vici, 7 Action News. Thanks, Gino. Hope we get to the bottom. I thought something had exploded, and as soon as it stopped, another one started. It's 6 o'clock, and here's what's happening. A mysterious boom shakes homes and rattles nerves. Residents around the region still trying to get to the bottom of the bang. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. Residents from the shore to Mount Laurel and plenty of places in between heard that booming sound. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan went in search of answers and joins us live from North Wildwood with the latest. Cleve. Well, around 10 15, 10 20 this morning, people throughout South Jersey said they felt something, but it was very intense right here in North Wildwood. And today I found out why. In between the cheers, all the chatter at this cross country meet in North Wildwood Wednesday was about a behemoth boom. So I heard this great big boom. Everyone had a theory about the mysterious sound that made homes and offices shake. I thought something fell on top of the roof. Somebody and hit the back of the building. Yeah. Remember, like, yes. like somebody crashed. I thought that a crane or something like that had just dropped something onto the beach. More than a dozen people in Cape May County called 911. But there was no reported incident to investigate. There were calls into the 911 center after it happened, but again, you know, there was nothing to re we didn't know anything about it at the time, so there was no action was taken. Some thought an earthquake happened, and it wasn't just at the shore. More than 80 miles away, David Ahern tweeted he felt the house shake two times in Mount Laurel. It was pretty pretty distinct. So what was it? The U.S. Geological Survey's National Earthquake Information Center says there wasn't any seismic activity, but they detected a possible sonic boom about nine miles off the coast of North Wildwood. In other words, it was probably a high-speed jet. We see a lot of military planes flying by up and down the coast all the time, year-round, all sorts of different planes, and so I'm assuming that's what we're that's what we're talking about here. And just the hail felt like it was going like this. Barbara Ferguson, who almost fell over in her house, says she doesn't want any repeat performances anytime soon. But I thought something seriously exploded, but obviously it was nothing. Now, one of the reasons the boom carried so far from the shore has to do with today's weather and something known as temperature inversion. Now, on a typical day, air temperature cools with height, and so sound waves disperse when they go up into the atmosphere. But with a temperature inversion, there's sort of a warm air lid that sends the boom back to Earth and amplifies the sound. Now, I reached out to the 177th Fighter Wing out of Atlantic City. They say it was not one of their jets that caused the boom. I've also called about a half dozen other military jet operations in the region. No word on what jet caused that boom. In North Wildwood, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Mm, interesting stuff. Okay, Cleve, thank viewers you. calling and emailing us for answers. What in the world caused that loud boom last night? So we've been searching for answers. Our Chris Spears in the Outdoor Weather Lab tonight. And Chris, do we have any idea what this was? Uh, not yet. I can tell you a few things that we have eliminated, Dominic. I want to show you where the booms were heard. Take a look here at this map I have built for you. The loudest booms heard in the bright 
Clinton and Lock Bowie areas where the largest red circles are, but we also heard some people in Capitol Hill, Lakewood, Castle Rock, and even Elizabeth report hearing the sounds. Now, here's what we know. We know it was not military aircraft. Buckley told me they ended all missions after 8 o'clock last night. USGS and Golden says it was not an earthquake, but they did provide me with this, a seismograph from a nearby station at the Rocky Mountain Arsenal. It did record 10 minutes of what they call noise right around the time of these booms, but they wanted to emphasize that noise could have simply been a passing freight train, and there are train tracks in that area. So what was it? A meteor shower? The Leonids just peaked, but probably not. Material in uh, meteor showers too small to make it down to the ground. A fireball. There was one in Colorado last night, but it was sighted at 1138 p.m. The sounds were happening around 9, and of course on social media, someone posed the question to me of, was it aliens, Chris? Well, at this point, we don't know the answer. Karen Morfitt doing some of her own digging. She'll have another report for you tonight at 10. We're in the outdoor weather lab covering Colorado first. I'm meteorologist Chris Spears. Thanks for helping us out, so Chris. What on earth was that noise? That is the question a whole lot of people are asking in Lock Bowie and North Brighton. So they heard this very loud boom about 9 o'clock or so last night. Denver Heppens Lance Hernandez talked to residents and to police trying to get some answers. It was just like a boom in it and her trailer shook. And it was, I was like, what the heck is that? Like just a shake? It was like some of the stuff in my room visibly moved. I thought the North Koreans were bombing us. <laughs> There's a lot of speculation about that boom. Was it related to fracking? Did someone crash? Lock Bowie's police chief says they have no reports of property damage or injuries. He says he called the FAA and Buckley Air Force Base and was told they had no operations going on in the area last night. Today, people are weighing in on the police department's Facebook page, wondering if it's related to fracking or aliens. We heard the boom and the house shook. And I went outside, thought somebody hit the house. Shane Fusilier says the noise reminded him of the powerful sonic booms he heard growing up in Louisiana. We found this sonic boom online. We wanted to give you an idea what he was talking about. I heard grenades, uh, some heavy artillery. Ray Armijo says he experienced sounds and concussions from a variety of explosions while serving in the military. He said this one here didn't sound or feel like it came from the ground. It just kind of scared me a little bit. It's kind of, kind of scary, kind of concerning that they can't figure it out because that was a pretty loud bang, being that it shook the whole town almost. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Mystery. We also talked to Brighton police. They're just as much in the dark as the rest.